the Bly Nal, Bouf e Kur, Vy Sardeg Hadoyat, a deep dive into Persian existentialism. The Bly Nal, Bouf e Kur, is Sardeg Hadoyat's most haunting and celebrated work, often described as a literary masterpiece of Persian modernism and existential despair. Published in 1937, the novella stands out for its surreal, dreamlike narrative, which captures the psychological struggles of an isolated narrator on the brink of mental collapse. The story centers on an unnamed narrator, a young man plagued by obsessive thoughts, haunting memories, and a profound sense of alienation. He lives in a shadowy, distorted world, cut off from reality and consumed by his own psyche. The novella opens with the narrator in his room, where he spends his days painting the same image over and over, a beautiful woman, ethereal and ghostly, standing by a stream holding a lily. She embodies the narrator's deepest desires, and her unattainable beauty becomes a tormenting symbol in his mind. He cannot escape the vision, which seems to recur endlessly, and he becomes increasingly obsessed with understanding her significance. As the narrative progresses, the line between reality and hallucination blurs. The woman becomes an almost mythical figure for the narrator, a presence that is both tantalizingly close and forever out of reach. His pursuit of this vision leads him into a series of surreal, nightmarish experiences. The novella's atmosphere is dark, filled with morbid reflections and eerie imagery, as if the narrator is caught in a dream from which he cannot wake. The Blind Owl is structured in a way that mirrors the fragmented nature of the narrator's mind. It is divided into two parts, each reflecting a different phase of his descent into madness. In the first part, he dwells on his past experiences, reliving them with a sense of dread and remorse. In the second part, he recounts his interactions with a mysterious woman who appears to be both his muse and his tormentor. He finds himself locked in a claustrophobic, nightmarish existence, where he is driven to acts of violence and despair. The people around him, including a mysterious old man and his unfaithful wife, seem like phantoms, blending in and out of his consciousness. One of the remarkable features of the blind owl is Hadoyat's use of repetitive symbolism. The novella is filled with recurring motifs, such as the owl, the shadowy figure of the woman, and the isolated landscape, that reinforce the narrator's spiraling descent. These symbols create a cyclical, almost hypnotic effect, drawing the reader deeper into the narrator's tormented mind. Hadoyat's writing style also contributes to the novella's sense of unease. His sentences are lyrical yet laden with darkness, reflecting the narrator's internal struggles. The prose flows like a stream of consciousness, pulling the reader into a world of despair, where logic and time lose their meaning. This disorienting narrative style was groundbreaking for its time, as Persian literature had not yet explored the psychological depths of human emotion in such a modernist way. The themes in The Blind Owl resonate deeply with existential philosophy. The novella delves into isolation, the fragility of identity, and the meaninglessness of life, themes that were later explored by writers like Albert Camus and Jean-Paul Sartre. However, Hadoyat's approach is distinctly Persian, interweaving cultural references, folklore, and a sense of fatalism. The narrator's struggle is not only with his personal demons but also with a sense of destiny that he cannot escape. Hadoyat himself was a complex, enigmatic figure. Born into an aristocratic family in Iran, he studied in France and became deeply influenced by Western philosophy, literature, and existential thought. His personal battles with depression and alienation are reflected in The Blind Owl, making the novella feel intensely autobiographical. Tragically, Hadoyat's life ended in suicide in 1951, and many readers view The Blind Owl as a dark window into his soul, a reflection of his own despair and his disillusionment with life. Despite its somber tone, The Blind Owl has had a lasting impact on literature, especially in Iran. It has been translated into numerous languages, reaching a global audience and inspiring generations of readers and writers. 
Hadoyat's work introduced existential themes into Persian literature, blending modernist techniques with a distinctly Iranian voice. His novella is often compared to the works of Franz Kafka and Fyodor Dostoevsky for its exploration of isolation, madness, and the human psyche. Today, The Blind Owl stands as a pioneering work of psychological and existential literature. It's dark, Introspective themes continue to resonate, inviting readers to confront their own fears, desires, and the inescapable mysteries of life. Hadoyat's story reminds us that literature has the power not only to entertain but to reach into the depths of human emotion, capturing the complexities of the soul in a way that transcends time and culture. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the blind owl, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to Classic Cuts for more quick, thought-provoking summaries of literary masterpieces. Your support helps me keep bringing these stories to life. Let me know in the comments what book you'd like to see next, whether it's another classic, a philosophical read, or a work you think deserves a fresh look. Looking forward to exploring the world of literature with you.